Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I know you've already had two videos this week but I am literally as always the gift that keeps on giving so I'm going to give you three. A short one mainly because I would like to uh, demonstrate or uh, let you guys in to an absolute stinker of a sausage that I uh, encountered today but before we do that, I would like to make a very quick announcement and I am very proud to say that I am now partnered with Dubby Energy. All of the good stuff, none of the bad stuff, designed to keep you alert and uh, game better. And if you use my code NTQ10 at the checkout, you will get 10% off your order. It will keep you more awake, more gaming, and uh, hopefully, like me, not to make you feel like putting your head into a deep fat fryer. So on with the race. Uh, still at the Nürburgring for daily race C for uh, this week on Gran Turismo 7. And here I am, look, just driving around in P2, having a nice relaxed race while enjoying myself in my element here. Not stressing at all, admiring the scenery. Look at the trees, beautiful. In the Porsche, just cruising along at the Nürburgring in Germany. May stop for a coffee in a second. Uh, well, probably not, but I got a little bit carried away there. Waffling, as always, very sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna skip forward in just a minute because this uh, event or the events that happened in this race it came from absolutely nowhere. I haven't raced against this guy before, although judging by uh, his name and the uh, lobbies that he has got into, as I'm, I'm on my uh, my second account here, my US account, uh, this guy has an American flag next to his name that you'll see in just a second, but his car is adorned with a uh, UK Reebok-esque livery, which leads me to one of two conclusions. Either he's a, uh, a British player on a US account, or he's uh, really stupid and isn't able to work out what flag represents his own country. But here he is, look, he's waited for me at the end of the pit lane, weirdly. He's ghosted, I've gone straight through him, He's given me a little tap on exit and then another little tap and um, spun me around rather nicely, 180 degrees. So here I thought he'd waited for me as he's gone, oh, I'm very sorry. I'll let you go. I've made an error. Sportsmanlike behavior, but oh no, we will ride on board with him now. There's smash number one uh, to see it from his point of view. So we'll do the next uh, couple of laps on board with this absolute whopper. You can see there, I was having a very nice race, setting the fastest lap time of the race, but now this guy has decided that for some reason, he doesn't like me, and he's going to go out of his way to make the rest of my race as miserable as possible. You can see another punt is happening there. Now, usually during this race, or at this point in a race, I would get frustrated and I would be throwing my toys out of my pram and royally spitting my dummy out. I've actually tried to do a little bit of a dummy there and taken myself into the uh, into the dirt trap myself, unfortunately. But uh, yes, usually I would get very upset and very annoyed. However, when this sort of thing happens, the only thing that I shall be thinking about from now on and going forward is that it will make for content and that is literally all these people are good for for two reasons one as i said content for my channel people like this kind of thing and also it gives people an idea of who to look out for in their races so if you are in a race with this night rider person um we should call him the uh, the usual name sausage or massive sausage in a poor um, Reebok livery, uh, I, won't, I won't be funny mate, Reebok went out of fashion about 15 years ago, time to catch up my friend. Um, but it'll give you, as I say, it'll give you an idea of who to avoid 
in the races or another way of looking at it if you are a long-term supporter on the channel or a new supporter on the channel feel free to absolutely destroy this guy at your leisure if you are in a race with him because i am fairly sure as you can see missile of the week there i have more friends than this absolute wet lettuce does he's got himself a penalty there we're on the last lap of the race and at this point it's pretty much over for me game over uh, i'm all the way at the back from p2 which admittedly is a little bit disappointing but uh, as i say it's made for a video so uh, as we are now monetized on this channel and uh, are earning a revenue from uh, adverts you have literally paid for my breakfast my friend thank you very much indeed i have a feeling about who this guy is uh, he went out of his way recently to uh, send me some emails but um dis uh, displayed is the word i was looking for um his amusement at ruining my races and uh, i went ahead used all of my nine iqs and worked out how to block incoming emails from him so if you have sent any more emails to me my friend uh, i have not read them so um they've fallen on deaf ears but this is uh pretty much the end of this one i just wanted to do a, a short video or a shorter video than the uh, the videos i would normally create on the channel just to give you guys an idea of uh, what this guy is about and uh, also to give you the option to dish out a fair amount of uh, steaming hot karma maybe in his direction that would uh, that would be lovely i'm not condoning dirty driving but sometimes it is necessary as you can see there i've gone through him he's ghosted but uh he's not quite finished he's taken me out one more time i mean he's just getting just getting silly now and uh he's got himself another penalty he has not actually pitted at this point which is a requirement so after all of his efforts he's going to finish right at the back anyway such a shame but that is it for this one guys as always thank you very much for watching i appreciate it if you are new to the channel and not yet subscribed, please feel free to go ahead and do so. Smash that like button as always, it really helps the channel out and I will see you very soon. Take care guys.